you ask me, there will always be room in the world for more games like Devil May Cry, and the upcoming Solstice, developed by Reply Game Studios, certainly waves the Like Devil May Cry banner proudly. It's a combat-driven character action game featuring fixed camera angles, a variety of hot swappable weapons, slick air combos, and plenty of glowing red crystals to absorb as currency for new techniques. All of these similarities to the DMC series certainly grabbed my attention, but what's held it are the ways Solstice attempts to carve out its identity within the character action genre. Solstice puts you in control of two characters at once, sisters named Briar and Loot. You primarily control Briar, using her powerful melee attacks and abilities, while Loot, who's been turned into a spirit bound to Briar, acts in a support role using her otherworldly abilities to affect the battlefield. Action game fans might hear that and immediately think, oh, so it's kinda like Astral Chain. But in practice, it actually feels a bit more like a mix of Devil May Cry and the Nier games. As an example, while the player is busy kicking ass with Briar, icons will pop up to indicate an enemy's attack. If you can press the B button before the attack goes off, Loot will put up a shield to protect Briar from any harm. There's no limit on this ability, and using it never stalls or slows Briar's attacks, which leads to this very cool feeling of the two sisters working together, but with each being focused on their own particular strength. Another big part of the combat of Solstice is the fact that Loot can activate both a blue evocation field and a red banishment field, which allows Briar to interact with enemies and objects of the same color. You've gotta be careful though, because if Loot keeps up a field for too long, she will overcharge and be out of commission for a few seconds, leaving Briar largely defenseless. These mechanics were really put to the test in the demo's boss fight, which forced me to put it all together as the boss would regularly pelt me with projectiles that had to be parried, send enemies that forced me to switch to my evocation field in order to deal with them, while the boss itself required the banishment field. It was a fun and appropriately challenging boss fight, and it certainly whetted my appetite for more. On Briar's side of things, combat is as you would expect from a character action game. Fast-paced, stylish, and hard-hitting. Like in Devil May Cry, Briar has multiple combos that she can use by altering the timing of her button presses at specific points. So while her main combo can be used simply by mashing the quick attack button four times in rapid succession, she can use a slower, more AoE-focused combo by pressing the quick attack button twice, pausing to wait for a flash on her sword, and then mashing the light attack button again. This secondary combo even gets punctuated by a big screen clearing synchronized attack when it's used when Briar and Loot's unity level is maxed out, which is done by simply landing attacks, avoiding damage, and effectively using Loot's parries. Briar is also able to hot swap between her weapons at any time, and while I only had access to two of them in my demo, they were both very satisfying to use. Her main weapon, called the Ashen Enforcer, is a hybrid weapon that uses quick sword slashes as its main attack, but can also transform and double as a slow yet powerful axe when using its strong attack. Her other weapon is called the Tearing Penance, and acts like a whip sword capable of extending great distances and utilizing sweeping attacks to deal massive AoE damage. All of this is super promising, but the real test for Solstice will be how these weapons and abilities develop as the game goes on. The combat was definitely mechanically solid in the demo, and a glance at the skill tree certainly makes it seem like there's plenty of fun new abilities to unlock as the campaign progresses. But nothing that I saw in the demo truly wowed me in the way that I really hoped to be when playing a game in this particular genre. I only ever had enough currency to upgrade one move for Briar an attack that's basically identical to Dante's quintessential stinger technique, which is a super quick dashing stab attack executed by tapping forward twice and then pressing an attack button. Unfortunately, it was a bit finicky and didn't come out at least half the time I tried using it. If Solstice can manage to nail that all-important feeling of character progression, Reply Game Studios might have something special on its hands. Solstice looks great. It's mechanically solid, and it's dripping with style derived from such classic anime and manga as Berserk and Claymore. We'll see if Solstice manages to stick the landing when it releases on PC and current gen consoles later this year. Thanks for watching, and for more Solstice, make sure to check out the latest trailer. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.